Rowena Irani was born on February 18, 1994, in Pakistan. Rowena's family had filed for U.S. citizenship, and in 2004, the family moved to Wichita, Kansas. Rowena's parents wanted a better life and education opportunities for Rowena and her older brother, Rushad. Rowena was described as being sassy and loved to be the center of attention, but had a bubbly and outgoing personality. She was also incredibly close with her family. When Rowena and Rushad first moved to Kansas it was difficult for them to make friends, especially because it was three years after September 11th. They eventually made friends, and Rowena joined her school's ROTC program and drill team. Rowena didn't want to join the military but joined the program for fun. After graduating from Wichita Heights High School in 2012, Rowena attended Wichita State University to study psychology. Rushad and Rowena both spent their undergraduate years living at home with their parents. Rowena's mother, Torrange, said how proud she was of her daughter for taking her academics so seriously. Rowena also got in touch with Dane Owens, a previous acquaintance of Rushad's. Dane was from an affluent family and had served in the army before suffering a brain injury during an explosion. He attended Kansas State University in Manhattan, Kansas, after being put on the reserves list. To experience college life, Rowena had transferred to Kansas State. After two months, Rowena's renal infection forced her to return to Wichita. Rowena had shown interest in Dane, but Courtney, a friend of hers, claimed it was just an infatuation. Dane and Rowena would text each other and converse on Facebook. They had a few encounters in Manhattan, but they had always been friendly encounters. Dane kept asking Rowena how she was once she got back to Wichita. Although they would make arrangements, Dane would disappoint her. You can't just go and come as you like, Rowena texted Dane. Rowena returned to her studies with renewed focus. She had informed her family that she intended to pursue a master's degree in adolescent psychology. To find out how children would respond in various scenarios, Rowena asked Courtney if she could do some tests with her daughter. Despite being good with children, Rowena had no intention of having children or getting married. Rowena and Dane reconnected in May 2016 at Rushad's wedding. Soon after, they began dating. But the union wasn't sustained for very long. Dane developed an obsession and wrote to Rowena expressing his desire to wed her and start a family. Dane gave Rowena space when she informed him that she needed it, and he did so for roughly a week. Rowena was left alone for a week before Dane brought up marriage once more. Rowena blocked Dane on all social media and texting services after deciding that the relationship needs to stop. Dane messaged Rushad after being unable to reach Rowena. Rushad inquired as to whether he ought to step in. The worst that might happen, according to Rowena, is for the Dane to shoot her. Rushad didn't think that funny because he was now a police officer. Dane received a message from Rushad threatening to file a harassment complaint if he persisted in trying to contact Rowena. The Irani family thought they had rid themselves of Dane when the messages finally stopped. Torrange, Rowena's mother, was dropped off at the school where she worked on October 3, 2016, but she never showed up. One of her co-workers dropped Torrange off. At 4.10 p.m., Torrange dialed 911 for Cedric County. After entering the house, Torrange discovered Rowena bleeding on the dining room floor. Rowena was breathing when the cops arrived, but she was not cognizant. She had a significant head injury. 
Rowena was rushed to the hospital. Rowena had been shot in the head, as determined by a CT scan. Dane Owens was most likely involved, according to Rue Shad, who alerted the police. The investigators returned to the crime scene and discovered a hole in the dining room window. Rowena had received a headshot from a .45 caliber semi-automatic weapon. The bullet casing was discovered next to the fireplace. On October 4, 2016, Rowena was declared dead. Dane was found at his residence. He appeared sleepy when he answered the door, only wearing shorts and an arm sling due to shoulder surgery. Dane was informed that Rowena had experienced a setback. Dane didn't seem upset and didn't inquire as to what it was. He consented to a police station interview. Dane described himself to the police as simply a decent man who constantly appeared to be screwed over. Rowena was shot, he claimed, but he went to her house to speak with her in person. Dane claimed he entered through an unlocked door with the gun drawn in an effort to make Rowena consider him seriously. Dane claimed Rowena scared him when she entered the room, which is why the gun accidentally went off. Dane claimed he left because he was afraid and believed Rowena was dead. He flung the magazine into a pond as he left the neighborhood in his car. The gun was hidden behind some rocks. They have been located. Dane was asked to demonstrate how he gripped the imitation gun that the cops had brought in. Dane claimed to have the gun hidden in his sling, but he was unable to place it in a way that was consistent with the available evidence. The shooting wasn't an accident, the cops were aware of it. And Wichita police identify a woman killed earlier this week at an apartment complex. 22-year-old Rowena Arani was shot in the head earlier this week. Police say Arani's ex-boyfriend shot her Monday afternoon. She's been in the hospital since that shooting. 27-year-old Dane Owens is being held without bond for first-degree murder and aggravated burglary in that case. The police questioned a number of ladies that Dane had dated or conversed with in the past. They all characterized him as unstable, obsessed, and verbally aggressive. After only a few weeks, Dane would develop a strong attachment to someone. The trial for Dane started on October 31, 2018. According to Dane's defense, he accidentally shot Rowena as a result of a PTSD-related medical issue. His reflex condition, according to them, was triggered by loud noises. Rowena startled him in her own damn house, and he shot her as a result. The prosecution said that Dane's claim that the gun was hidden in his sling didn't square with the available proof. They claimed that if Dane had mistakenly shot her, he would have struck her in the stomach or waist area. Additionally, they claimed that the shell casing would have been in the sling and not close to the fireplace in the Iranian home. Additionally, the prosecution informed the jury that following the gunshot, Dane left the scene. Along with the magazine and rifle, he also dumped Rowena's phone that he had stolen. Rowena had seemingly rejected Dane, and if he couldn't get her, no one else would. Dane Owens was convicted guilty of felony murder on November 6, 2018. He received a life sentence plus 43 months for felony burglary, with the chance of parole. The family of 22-year-old Rowena Irani raised money for a scholarship at Wichita State University. The Rowena Irani Psychology Scholarship will be awarded to students at the university she attended until 2016. It's been nearly three years since a young college student was killed by her ex-boyfriend. Good evening, I'm Deb Ferris. And I'm Craig DeGrelli. Now her family is carrying on her legacy with a scholarship at Wichita State University. Cakes Lily Wu is here with the story. Lily. 
Craig and Deb, the family of Rowena Irani is hoping to raise $35,000 for a scholarship at WSU. Her brother says this is a gift for other students, the same way Rowena was a gift to this community. This home is filled with dreams of immigrant parents from Pakistan for their children. She's very much involved in high school ROTC. That's her box of her medals and awards, ribbons and all that stuff. Rushad Irani and his sister Rowena feel indebted to their parents. My parents did it for our future, for school, for opportunities. I'm a police officer here in Derby, and so I can't do that back home. But those opportunities and dreams were shattered on October 3rd, 2016. Rowena's ex-boyfriend broke into their house and shot her. A nightmare. And he grabbed my hands and he said, I'm sorry, it's a fatal wound. She's been shot. This hopeful family never imagined. And I, I lost it. The 22-year-old was studying psychology at WSU and worked for the Wichita Children's Home. She wanted to give to this community by helping at-risk youth. But in death, Rowena continues to give. But just knowing that, you know, there are six other people that benefited from her and that they are still able to live with their families and that part, literally a part of her still lives on, it's, it's unreal to me. Not only an organ donor, Rowena is now the namesake of a psychology scholarship at WSU. Her family set a goal of $10,000 and met that in two weeks. They've now increased it to 35000 so it can become a forever scholarship in memory of Rowena. Passionate, kind, giving, who is humble and modest um, and has a, has a level of integrity because Rowena was that person who she did good things but never expected anything in return and that's what we're looking for. Now there's less than a month remaining to raise $35,000. So far, donors have given $11,000. If you'd like to give through the WSU Foundation's crowdfunding platform, we do have a link on cake.com. Reporting live in the studio, Lily Wu, Cake News on your side.